Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to do web scraping or uh, getting data from the web using uh, Python and we will use a package called beautiful, beautiful soup for that. So let's start to be able to, so the first thing I wanted to well bring to your notice is to be able to do web script scraping, you need to understand the DOM or the document object model which basically defines the structure for an STL document and as most pages are some form of a dynamic HTML it's probably best to understand how tags are defined and how uh, data sits in a document and this is a very good start so you might really want to have a look at the document object model I leave this in the video notes so you can go and uh, uh, understand this and uh, this will help you in web scraping um, so let me just uh, minimize this and I've got this um, Jupyter notebook open and I'll, I'll uh, leave this uh, notebook a link to this so what I'll do is I'll upload this video into github and leave a link to that repository in the video notes so you can download it and play with it so I'm essentially importing requests and beautiful soup. So requests uh, you uh, would need if you're trying to do some form of web scraping. And beautiful soup is when you want to manipulate and get certain specific data tags or some objects or some description in that document. You will use beautiful soup for that. Um, one note of caution when you're trying to access any uh, web page you might just want to consider that you might get into legal issues if somebody is unhappy about you scraping them so uh, just make sure that you are in touch with the website administrator and take their permission before you do any scraping of any website so to avoid any legal issues what I've done is I've created an HTML string which basically says that this is an HTML document and then I've got a header which says my first heading and my first paragraph and I've got a table here so that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's start. So I'll import these. So I'll import requests and I'll import beautiful soup. And then I'll now cre uh, create this HTML string. So I'll also do an execute here. And now I, what I will do is I will use uh, IPython uh, display and HTML functions. So what I'm doing is I'm passing the HTML string to the HTML function and I'm displaying it. So let me just run this and you can see it shows me my HTML page, which is my first heading and then my first paragraph. I've not done much here and then it is the table. So what you can do is you can pass that HTML string to beautiful soup and store it in an object, uh, which is a BS example. That's what I'm calling it. And now if I go and print VS example, you can see it's just that it stored that HTML string in the object. And what I can do is now use in BS example, I can call the function find and uh, give the tag names and it will give me, uh, it will return that specific thing. So let's say in this case, I've said bodies and I can print body. So you can see it's printing the body similarly. I can say uh, I want to see the paragraph so, and then if I go and print here it, it is giving me that particular string. Similarly if I want to just extract data from a table I can just say hey uh, you know give me the table and when I print the table it you can see it's just extracted specific table. Similarly I'm getting the rows and I'm printing the rows here. So you can pass on the tag names to the BS example dot find and get the specific tag. And here I'm using the find also it will return all the rows. And let me run this so you can see. And in the same way you can also pass. Um, so let me just so I'm in this one I'm ex iterating and printing the rows. And I'll just run through what you can also do is you can pass on uh, specific names. So you can pass on attribute name and print those. So for example, I can say, give me a row where attribute name is row one or ID is row one. So you can see here that ID of row one 
is just first name and last name. So let's see what this prints. And it's printing first name and last name. So we've just learned that you can use beautiful soup and you can pass on the tag names or specific attribute names and then get the, get the data uh, from using beautiful soup. Now this is going to be a uh, one where we will uh, use. So what we're doing in this one is we're sort of uh, getting the body by uh, from BS example, and then uh, we're getting the table. And after that, we're saying that for row in table, start from the first. So the first row is the header. So we're saying that we'll skip the first one, which is zero index. So we'll start from index one and give us all the names. So what it's doing is, is iterating row by row for the particular table and it's skipping the header row and it's printing the first name and the last name. So in this video, what we've done is we've essentially uh, used beautiful soup to uh, point to an HTML string and then we've sort of scraped data which exists in a table and printed it out. And you could probably, uh, for example, you could point it to a website and get the stock ticker values or you could point it to a website and get some other data which sits in a table so uh, using the requests and uh, beautiful soup so i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what i'm doing thank you